Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let's solve today the little question 1403, minimum subsequence in non-increasing order. Here's an example. If that's the input array, we need to return the subsequence of elements, which in sum will make a sum which is slightly greater than the sum of the elements which are not included in this array. However, for example, if we have the sum of 14 in the subsequence like here, and the remaining elements are making the sum of 14 as well, we need to include the largest possible element in, from the array, which is remaining after we add the, the first greatest elements. All right, let's do that. First of all, let's create a, an, a list to store the result values. Also, one point to notice: the nums will never be the any num will never be greater than hundred. So we can use that properly. Let's create the counter to calculate how many how many of each num we have inside the inventory. Because we know that there will be only one hundred possible numbers. Now let's use that. And we also need to calculate the total sum of all the elements. So let's iterate through all the numbers. Let's calculate our total sum. And let's also increment our counter. After that, let's calculate the minimum minimum subsequent sum which we want to get. To do that, we just simply want to divide the total sum by two and add one. So that's the minimum possible sum. <coughs> and we also want to check our current sum. Now let's iterate to our nums counter, starting from the largest possible element. It might look a bit wasteful, for example, if you have, I don't know, an array such as that or such as that. But believe me, if it will be like the very huge array which will contain, I don't know, let's say 500 elements, it will become very efficient. So we start from the from the largest elements. And while the current counter is greater than zero, the nums current counter. So here we will have the base case. For example, if we reach this sum for which we are aiming. So the current subsequent sum um, is greater or equal than, than our desired sum. In this case, we just simply return the result. Otherwise, first of all, we want to decrement our nums counter if we get inside this file loop. And also, we want to change our current subsequent sum. And of course, we want to store everything as well. And in the end, of course, we want to return result. <coughs> Let's check if it works. So what's wrong here? 
Hunter and the Hunter. Oh, sorry, new in. Brilliant. Let's submit. Perfect. It was the lead code question 1403. Please subscribe to this channel, guys, to not miss a lot of content which is going to come soon. Thank you.